Hey cam fam, it's Monica here from My Big Camera. In this video, we will be showing you how to wrap a newborn baby in the potato sack pose. The potato sack pose is a very popular newborn pose and for good reason. It looks gorgeous, clients love it, and it will work with almost any baby, even older newborns. This video was actually requested by you guys, so if you have any more video ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you're new to our channel, we teach aspiring photographers how to improve their skills, specifically when it comes to newborn and portrait photography. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell too, so that you get a notification every time we release a new video. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. So I start off with the baby usually freshly fed. Ideally they should be sleeping but you can try it with a baby that's awake too. Sometimes the cozy swaddle actually puts them to sleep. I will lay baby in my lap. They're usually wearing a diaper but in this case I have a diaper cover on my doll. Then you will need two to three long stretchy wraps in a similar color. I generally like to use three especially since the wraps I'm using aren't as long but if you have longer wraps you might be able to just use two. I then fold baby's hands up just under baby's chin and sort of hold them in place. I place the wrap over the arms and elbows and then tuck it in on the side. Then bring the wrap around baby and start to wrap in sort of a crisscross fashion from shoulder down and across the baby. Bringing it around the baby again from behind and then going up and across towards the opposite shoulder. Then I fold up baby's legs towards the baby's chest. come down and across the bum to hold them in place. The second wrap will secure them in place even more so it's okay if baby's legs aren't totally secure at this point. I'm using a doll so the doll's legs don't really want to stay up but with a real baby they should stay up when supported even just a little bit because it's a pretty natural position. Now I'm going to take a small posing bean. If you're interested in where I got these beans, I'll leave a link down below and place it right under the baby's elbows to help keep them in place. I'm going to bring in my second wrap by sliding it underneath baby. Again this doll's legs really don't stay in place well so I have to hold them up pretty tight to keep them in place until the doll is wrapped enough. With a baby their legs should stay up pretty easily but you should still keep a hand on them so they don't startle out of position. So now I'm going to start crisscrossing the wrap again from the shoulder down and across the baby, tucking the tail of the wrap underneath baby. Then bring the longer end of the wrap down over the shoulder and across the baby. Bringing the wrap behind baby and then up and across to the opposite shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
bringing the wrap behind baby. And down and across from the shoulder. After the second wrap is in place, I like to add my textured or knit wrap on top. This wrap is sort of a gauzy, stretchy wrap. So just like the other wraps, I crisscross this one too, going down from the shoulder and across the baby's body, then back up again from the opposite side. Hopefully that makes sense, you could probably see it better in the video. With this top layer, I try to be a little bit neater with it since it's the one that you will see in the photo. I'm going for a bit of a crisscross layered effect, but you can really do whatever works best for you. At this point, I try to position the baby's hands the way I want them. It's actually really hard to do it with this doll, but with a baby, you should be able to easily place them on top of each other or just have one hand poking through over the wrap with the other hand tucked inside the wrap. You can also have one hand out and the other hand up by the cheek or have both hands holding a little lovey. I'm adding a little bonnet here. With the bonnet you want to make sure that you tie the bow a little bit off to the side so the strings don't get in the way of the baby's face. This doll has really weird and thick hands so please ignore that. Now I'm going to add a little levy just to show you the different options that you can do. When adding a levy, make sure that it doesn't block the baby's face and try to curve the baby's hands nicely around the levy so it looks like they're hugging it. Here's the finished pose. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to pose baby in a prop as well. But for now, here are some final images of the doll as well as some other photos of babies we have taken. If you're interested in more newborn photography content, I will leave our entire newborn photography playlist linked up in the cards. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and that you can confidently add this pose to your arsenal for your next newborn session. I recommend practicing it with a teddy bear or a doll if you're not feeling super confident, so it will feel like second nature when it comes time to pose a real baby. We would love it if you would join our cam fan by subscribing and hitting that bell icon so that you're notified the next time we release a video.
We also started a Facebook group for newborn photographers to share and inspire each other and we would love it if you would join us there. I'll leave a link for it down below. I'll also leave a link up in the cards to our posing playlist in case you're interested in checking out more posing tutorials. And if you're interested in downloading our free Photoshop actions for editing newborns and portraits that we use every day, I'll leave a link for that down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now and remember, keep creating.